Before we had the baseball effect of Disney lightsabers, Yay, I'm fine. We had The Force Unleashed, a game where you could slice and dice as you pleased and a lightsaber that actually did its job. And if you thought having one lightsaber to be the force-wielding equivalent of Gordon Ramsay cutting a piece of meat was good, get ready for The Force Unleashed 2. You're alive. How parents act when you come out of your bedroom. I hear. A woman's voice when I try to sleep. Here, gross women. You must destroy what he created. Cool, we're getting two lightsabers. And you must learn to hate what he loved. Nothing personal, just, uh, business. Yeah, business. With you, hate her and try to... After several things of Wait. good business and being flashbanged 18 times, yes. uh, here we are. Strike her down. I can't. You will, and you'll like it. Okay, so when he gets out of bed in the morning. Okay, let's try out this grapple. Okay. I mean, I didn't. Let's try this. Okay, so like I can attack afterwards. Okay, okay. Bad guys with an entrance. Surely they should be difficult to defeat. Or, you know, maybe not. Just throw this guy. See, this is the type of crap Disney needs to bring back into Star Wars. Like, you know, just brutally electrocuting people. This is what the fans want. And throwing lightsabers into people. Repeatedly, God bless. And when is this guy gonna die? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's something. Yeah, dude. Poor Bob indeed. Poor Bob indeed. See, can we just make another Star Wars game like this? Like, I don't care if it's canon, not canon, whatever you want to have it. But let me throw TIE Fighters and break down crap. I don't care. Like, let me be this amazing, strong force wielder. I'm completely disintegrating their bodies. You will never see this in a Disney Star Wars game. Ever. Quit your angsty teenage bullcrap and get inside. You're gonna get pneumonia. This is why I'm glad Padme died on Mustafar. Imagine if it was twins. The cinematics in this game are absolutely insane. Well, look at big man running. Yeah, my perimeter, and my perimeter is me, and I shall not leave my post until I'm properly relieved. Crap. If I come out there, you're going to shoot me again. No, I won't. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Fine, I'm coming. See, you try to shoot a rocket at me. Ow. Oh, God, I'm about to have one of my nom flashbacks again. Wait, we were just now supposed to relearn force throwing? I've been doing that! Him yelling shut up is like such a freaking mood, man. Oh god, I'm in Snoop Dogg's basement. Fight somebody's gambling addiction by throwing the gambling slot machines at them. I've always been a pretty big fan of the finishers from The Force Unleashed. I promise you, they had a thing for you fighting, like, ships back then. I mean, for the love of God, they really had a thing for you fighting ships back then. Another cool cinematic scene. Two seconds later. How the crap did he survive that? Yeah, no, their love for fighting ships is absolutely freaking insane. This is my second time having to fight just this ship, and my third time having to fight ships in general in one level. If I see another ship in this game, 
I'm going to jump off of a cliff. You can sit this one out, General. By the force, I knew you were alive. Ah, a heartwarming reunion. Well, we'll see how long I stay that way. I was just like, yeah, we've already uh, dealt with that plenty of times. Jesus Christ. You know, slap a wig on it. If it asks for the manager, this is literally what every Karen looks like. Oh, yeah, that's nothing like the hot toddler breath that you can't escape. Oh, I don't know. Is it possibly the wristbands that just pop down and are like, hey, maybe hit me? I just like the little animation he's doing, like, uh, uh, uh. You know, whenever the buttons want to pop up, I won't complain. There we go. All right. It baffles me. I can pull a Star Destroyer out of the freaking sky, but I can't pull this dude's big old melon down. I gotcha. Oh, here we go. Finally, the finisher. Nice slow-mo shot. Come on. What am I what am I doing? Oh, I get okay, okay, I'm breaking the clasp. Gotcha. And eh. And we pissed him off. Cool. Got you. And we're back to a full bar of health with him. That's just great. I survived between his fingers. For those of you with kids, if you've ever tried to get something out of your toddler's hand, this is the equivalent of trying to get your toddler let go of something. Did they run out of budget? Like, ah, yeah, we can't get you to say fire right now. I'm um, just Sims grunt at us. The Gorog's looking for his munchies. You can tell they had like a whole different design team for this game. Was that a stormtrooper? Holy crap, we're just going right past stormtroopers falling. So like, are all of his attacks unavoidable? Like there's no way to dodge big old meat claws coming at you, Jesus. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm assuming we just attack until he dies. I feel like Loki and Thor Ragnarok. I have been falling for 30 minutes. I'm just gonna, I guess, charge up until we get to him. God, we're screaming, literally. Did we just go through his chest? Why did that like realistically crush our bodies? Like force sensitive or not? In the stars, boy. That uh, sounded like he had a little bit too much fun saying that. And we're going to Yoda's house. And not in there. Okay. Crap. Huh. Look, Master Yoda, I can already do force lifting. I'm already better than Luke. Uh, uh, you weren't there just a second ago. Look, I found a glue stick. We can still save her. Let's go. Um, uh, you do realize by saying let's go, that means we gotta go. There we go. Come on. Come on, old man. Keep up. Are you being so serious, my dude? Get that door open. Just did. Just gotta shimmy, do a little, do a little shimmy, shimmy, and good enough. Come on, open. What the crap is that? <laughs> He's in the walls. He's in the wall! 
And today we bring you another Vietnam flashback. When in doubt, fetal position your way out. He's right behind me, isn't he? Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Dude, how the crap am I supposed to get that? That's where I'm going. Like, okay. Alright, that's just great. Wait, hold on a second. I didn't realize till this finisher... Does that thing have General Grievous's face? It does! It does have General Grievous's face. What? What's with this game and the whole he ain't behind me is any bull crap, man? Holy crap, dude. Well, okay. Finally died. And my body gets launched. Some may say that this is cruel, but, you know, I think this is pure entertainment. If they didn't want me to do this, they wouldn't let me do this in the game. And I just want to line them up right. Well, there you go. Screw it. I could never perfectly time that again. In my and we get these freaking droids again. Beetle position. If there are two things that are for sure in this game, it's either you're going to have the they right behind me, aren't they? Moment, or it's going to be falling and trying to dodge crap. Turning a TIE Fighter into a toy. What the crap did I even do? Alright, gonna take you and put you out the window. And drop. What the crap? He blew up! Having trouble, General? Just get over here. This isn't as easy as it looks. Yeah, sure, bud. Juno! Juno! Where is she? Say something! No. I have the high ground. <laughs> Help, I'm being chased by schizophrenics! Honestly, the more you play this game, the more you realize General Coda is weak as crap. Bro was struggling with little tiny things, and look at this. Vader's like, yeah, Star Killer throws down crap. Yeah. Coda is weak. Freaking teenage rebellion. With the power of Lego Star Wars, I will kill you. Oh, it just fall backwards. Hey, live it. Ten toes in when we standing on business. I'm a big step off. And PTSD again. A son. I almost had one of those. Ah, <laughs> bye again. If I get chased by one of these blue smurf schizophrenic freaks one more time, I'm gonna kill myself. Darth Vader's asthma is really kicking his tail. Your girlfriend's so stupid she got hit by a parked car. That was the most basic punch sound effect I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I have the high ground. And give yourself to the dark side. If you resist, she dies. And when your training is complete, you will hunt down and execute the rebel leaders. If you fail, she dies. No. Or, she dies anyways. Oh Lord, what eyes. You are not that guy. Again with my hand.
Imagine being the toughest guy in the universe and getting cooked what, by what could possibly be a freaking clone. Hmm. Which to pick? Which to pick? Eh, go with old reliable. Yeah. Always go with the light side. It's a better ending for this game. I may be captured, but that's still gross. What's up, dude? I let you live. Okay, and? You tell me I'm a clone, but I chose to spare you. Cool story, bro. Maybe Coda's right. Maybe this is all a trick, a way to get me so confused that I'd forget who I really am become your slave again, but either way, I let you live. I've finally broken your hold over me. Wanna bet? As long as she lives, I will always control you. Turn the lights off on your way out. Sick. Nap time. Ah, uh, the setup for the third game that was never to be. Sadness. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.